After several stints on popular television shows such as The Love Boat and Married with Children, actor Ted McGinley invented the McGinley Dynamic Index in 1997. True story. Not really. Now, how cool would that be if Jefferson Darcy from Married with Children actually invented this indicator? But unfortunately, not the case. But welcome, traders, to video number two in our indicator profile series. If you did not see video number one on the shaft trend cycle, please go back and watch it because it explains the way we do videos like this. And you're going to get lost if you don't understand that. So without further ado, let's jump right into things. Now, the McGinley Dynamic Index was invented in 1997. That part was true. This is a baseline. Now, baselines, as you know, if you test them on their own, will probably not set the world on fire. But if you can find a decent one that does perform well on its own, you can start to build a system around that if you want to. Now, be careful, don't overfit or anything like that. Uh, but discovering a good baseline is worth something, and I don't think most people have heard of the McGinley Dynamic Index. So this is a really good one to talk about. Now, you will see in a moment the subtype. This is also a color change indicator. It's, uh, it does things that most baselines don't do. It actually gives you a signal on the off chance that you're half blind. It's green for long, red for short. Very easy. You'll see in a moment. Now, can this be used as an exit ind indicator? Uh, well, you guys know baselines can. Um, they're often pretty good at that, especially to get you out of a trade that's losing at a very cheap price. But you can't just use it exclusively as your exit indicator. So I put yes slash no on that one. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this thing, but before we do that, this is just going to be my disclaimer page. For the most part, we talked about this uh, last indicator profile video. You will see different results slightly um, to moderately once you test this yourself. We're just showing you what Stonehill Forex was able to come up with when they tested it. Now let's look at the indicator real quick. Pretty simple. You will see when a candle crosses and closes above. The, uh, the baseline, it turns green, and when it does the opposite and closes, crosses and closes below the baseline, then that's going to be a sell signal and that's going to be red. Super easy. You can see some areas here where you have a lot of misfires. Uh, anywhere else? Yeah, maybe right here. But again, that is where the rest of your algorithm comes in. Uh, but you get the idea. You understand how this works. So, Without further ado, let's go to the results, starting with the Euro USD. On its own, not that great. Actually lost pips over time. Um, but with some very basic tweaks, not only did the amount of trades go down, which was probably necessary in this case, the ROI actually became positive. And now you would actually have a really nice starting point. You know, if a baseline alone can achieve numbers like this, that is worth something. That is worth looking into. Moving on to gold, actually pretty good on its own. I like indicators that are good in their default state. And for gold in particular, this is. But you did see improvements when the tweaks were made. And we'll see in a moment. I have all the links to where you can go see what those tweaks actually were down below. But let's go ahead and hit Bitcoin real quick. Very interesting on this one. This indicator on its own does not like Bitcoin, which is strange uh, because as we talked about in the trading crypto video, Bitcoin trends very well. But you can tweak it very easily to actually flip it into a positive. Uh, but these are pretty low numbers on the default setting. Just goes to show a little bit of work, uh, which oftentimes decreases the amount of trades you're going to make does go a long way. So as I stated earlier, the links we are always going to put below is one, my automation blog, which has the video that Dan from Stonehill Forex made showing how to test these indicators on your own. So you can take any indicator you want and run it through the MT4 strategy tester. The actual link to the blog that Dan did on this indicator that goes super deep and also reveals the settings that you saw on this video. And then where you can actually go to download it. And that's it. 
that's as long as these videos really need to be. Subscribe and hit the bell. We are going to keep these coming. What if I showed you an indicator that changed your entire system for the better? And what if you missed it because you weren't subscribed, because you aren't part of the notification squad? Do not let this happen. Subscribe, hit the bell, and I will do my best to bring another one of these your way, hopefully by next week. Stay tuned for that. Until then, go get it.